All right, so here's the first set I come to usually. Um, I think this is the last set you guys sent me, saw me set in that first video. It might've been the first, I'm not sure. Um, I just, this is the first one I come to. I go to the easternmost portion of my unit and then I work my way to the west so the sun's always in my back. But um, here's my first set. Nothing looks like nothing's messed with it. My next one's just up here in the trees a little ways. There's this, this great big rock wall. It's probably, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 feet high. And then the canal is down here. So it creates like this perfect little funnel. There's a trail and stuff right here. I just set right off the trail. So the, oh crap, I got one. You see that? It's my first dog of the season. Okay. Um, give me a minute. I'm going to have to put, I'm going to get him put down and then uh, I don't want him to get run off he looks like he's really he's caught good but we're still gonna get him put down and uh i'll get back with you in a second all right first dog down baby really tore this set up i'm gonna see if i can refix it i'm gonna have to uh the, if you can tell my bag's here um this trail goes up and works its way through the sage we have a canal on this side, and then there's this big hill, and then, like I said, there's that rolling, there's that one cliff right there. Um, the road is just a little bit the other side of this, so it's nice and secluded, kind of makes them feel comfortable, and uh, you don't got to worry about it too much. But uh, yeah, he really wrecked this set. We're going to try to see if we can save it. Um, but yeah, here, let me uh, let me get this guy out of the, set, out of the trap and get this set remade, and uh, I'll get back with you. All right, so here's my remake. The trail goes up that way. I just uh, kind of cleared the path, cleared the trail back out, took all the debris and kind of piled it up along the sides. Um, there's going to be plenty of dog smell here, coyote smell. Um, I don't know how long that dog was in there. Been two days. This is day two since on my last check, so I do a 48-hour check. That way, I'm not trekking. Hopefully, I'm not checking as many empty traps, but um, my my time frame in my state for a minimum check is 72 hours. So, But yeah, there's a, a little bit of Trapper Jays uh, all predator bait in the hole. Um, just up here, there is a, a little bit of uh, all predator lure. And the stick that I pulled the bait out with. My trap's bedded right here. And then uh, I took a little bit of uh, Hellfire and stuck it on the stick high up so that hopefully this, the wind will carry it. And then I also put um, a little bit of fox gland lure right there. So um, we'll go ahead and get this dog out of here and uh, we'll move on to the next set. Um, this is my fourth or fifth check now and first dog of the season so we'll move on and uh see what else we got all right so here's my third set this is how or the direction that i'm searching them i'm heading west <coughs> um this one hasn't had anything in it but i also don't see any like if you can tell like that's my footprint from just now so, I mean, this this is like some really powdery dirt, so you can tell if there's any fresh tracks. And I don't have <coughs> any fresh uh, coyote tracks. When I did set this, the day I set this one, um, there were some brand new fresh coyote tracks walking in the dirt. So, um, we'll go ahead and get down the next line, or get down to the next trap. This next trap, I always have to use my GPS to freaking find. Cause I never remember where I said it. It's just off of a trail, but there's so many trails that weave in and out of this that um, <clears throat> it's hard to remember what trail. Okay, I think it's right here. I'm 
Nothing at this one. Nothing's come to play with it. There's a trail. The trail's sitting right over here. Let's see if we can see any. Don't see any tracks. I don't see any fresh tracks. But this trail weaves and goes and works its way up that way. Looks like there's some scat right there. That would be. That's fresh. That wasn't there last time. But it doesn't look like coyote. Coyote scat. Very possible that's raccoon scat. It's got um, a bunch of seeds and stuff in it. Um, from a weed that we have around here. And there's some Russian olive seeds and stuff in that too. So. Hmm. Alright. Well. Um, my next one. Is a little snare. We'll go ahead and. Get back to the truck and drive down and check that spot. And. Uh, and then my one after that is. The one that I caught my first coon in this year. Be that dog proof so yeah let's go ahead and get back to the truck and get down the line all right well this one was knocked over the other day and it looks like it got knocked over again this is one of my snares i'm gonna go in there and get that fixed but yeah this one was knocked over the other day um it's kind of on a it's in that similar as that one right where i just caught that coyote at um <clears throat> it's just a small trail that runs along this one doesn't get beat down by the cows or anything so i just put it right in the trail and um it's just a trail that runs along the side of the road off the road a little ways and next to this big canal and um this is the second time it's been knocked over I don't know if it's a raccoon. It very well, because this one's fairly close to the ground. That stick that's leaning over the top is natural. It was there when I put the set in. I didn't make it, you know. I moved one little stick, and it's the one right there, that one that leans like this to keep him off that side. But, yeah, it looks like something might have went through it or, or what, I don't know. You might need to load that snare a little more, but. All right, I'm gonna get this one fixed and then we'll get down and move down to the next one. So when I say this dirt is like really powdery, the other day when I came, there were, there were rabbit tracks running all along this. And if you can tell, I think that's a fresh set of rabbit tracks going up in there. I mean, just super powdery stuff. I did set a kind of a scent marker thing wanted to see because I know a lot of the coyotes are traveling this road I wanted to see the other day I just put some um, hellfire on the corner there and a little bit of fox gland lure and if you can tell there's just coyote tracks all over looks like they've been it's been a few days since they've been by but yeah Anyways, I'll get to the truck and uh, move on down. All right, well, DP doesn't have anything in it. Um, I did have it all the way to the top with the uh, little bit of the coon candy, you know, Trapper J's coon candy on it. And uh, pretty sure mice were the ones that were been taking the bait out. Um, could have been a coon that only ate down to so far. So um, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to top a little bit of coon candy off. Leave what bait's left in there. Uh, it's still fairly dry. So yeah, we'll go ahead and move down the line. Uh, next two sets are my two snares that are close together. And then I have two snares on the other side, a foothold and one more coon trap. So we'll go ahead and get down and move down. The snare still standing. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Get around it. There it is. I'll walk down here and the other one's right over here. 
and it's still standing. It's gonna be a lot harder now to get a coyote in the snares. And the reason for that is all the water we had is gone. I'm actually gonna walk straight across because I have, I have a set right there. And then I have a set over there. So it's just a lot easier just to walk right across. And then I also have a set down in that little green tree right there. So let me get over there real quick. Um, so those guys that asked me why I don't use beaver drowners and things like that. Um, the river, the bottom of the river is a lot similar to the, rock, the bottom of this canal. Um, really steep in spots and just loaded with lava rocks. Um, yeah, I know there's this big, you know, sandbar here, but like we don't have those all over. Um, I mean, you look down and you can see it's just all rock. There's one there. There's also a sandbar um, right along this wall right here too, but in that little corner right there. So, but yeah, it's just stuff that I don't know what's in the bottom. It's either super, super steep or like you see this, this like little cliff, little cliff right there. I mean, we have those all over the place. And so it's just a lot easier for me to use cables. It's a lot more weight, but yeah, it's a lot easier. So. Anyways, let me get down and across, and uh, we'll check those the snares over there, the conibear bear here, and then I got a foothold and a and a, that coon trap over there. Actually, I'm gonna go grab my bait real quick. Well, yeah, I'm gonna grab my bait. All right, so both these snares were locked, were knocked down. I uh, got them set back up. That one's right there. Um, keeps getting knocked down because of the, the cows over here. If you can see them or not. But, hey, that's the snare. The one that's right here, wherever it is, um, was the one that I caught that dog in the other day. And I was able to get that dog released. Um, just took a little bit. I really need to get a catch pole. Um, it would have made that process so much easier, less stressful. Worried about getting bit. Um, I managed to just get the get it cut. I had to get it pinned down and get the cable cut, and the dog ran off. So um, the next set's a little 160 Connor Bear. I'd love to be able to use it with 220, but Idaho rules, you know, don't don't let me. Um, we'll see if we got anything in here. I hope I don't catch a mink in this. Uh, mink season doesn't open for another little while. I'd like to be able to catch them when I have, when the season's open so I can keep them. Um, so yeah, that one's untouched. Um, my next set is, there's another coyote set and a raccoon set down over there by that green tree. So let me work my way that way and I'll get back with you guys. With this canal drying up, there's tons of little fish and crawdads and stuff. So the uh, ability to catch um, catch coyotes is going to start to go down because they're going to get they're going to get a they're going to have a very large food source that they can go to um as well as the raccoons and things like that they're just not going to be hungry um yeah look at these guys just hanging out guy's digging himself a hole and there's a little dude crawling along but yeah um it's going to be a lot harder to find the get coyotes as well because they're going to have this entire area to travel um so i can't just like narrow them down as much as i would love to so but um i might go home and get a bucket and we're going to come out here and catch a bunch of these little minnows um 
maybe some of the crawdads, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so let me get over there. Well, coming up to my first set. This coyote set here. Doesn't look like anything's come to mess with it at all. Um, this little green tree. And it looks like we don't have a coon either. Trap still sitting there. Check our bait. Yep, bait's still in there. A little bit of little bits come out. I think a mouse got into it. But um yeah. So still got the coon candy around the outside. We're gonna go ahead and leave this one alone and uh, let it do its thing. Um, like I said, with the water going down and stuff, like it's gonna become a lot harder to find everything. Like if you can see, look, there's, there's fresh coon tracks. And my trap's only, only right there. I mean, within a few feet. And you can tell that he went, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. He went, he's right here, he went down. So he came to the end. He came probably walking down the, the shoreline and then got to here and then went this way instead of up that way into my, to where my trap was. So we'll give it a few more days and see. Duck season started yesterday, so there's gonna be more people um, running this canal and stuff like that. And um, look at all those king tracks over there. Um, there's gonna be more people running this canal so I want to try to avoid um kind of set any open like if I if I wasn't worried about people driving on that that wall or driving that rock wall um I'd probably set I'd set right along the edge of this these cattails um I could I could run a a slider setup and things like that but um I'm just not really you know I'm not targeting coons all that much I only have two dog proofs. I'm not overly worried about it. Um, I'm just kind of waiting until... I'm trapping right now to give me something to do. I'm waiting for... Um, waiting for a, for water season to open. So I can go get me some beavers and... Rats and mink and all kinds of other stuff. So, two more weeks. But, this stuff will keep me occupied for now. So... Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for coming on my adventure with me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, tight chains. Yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about is the coyotes and there's mink tracks down there. There's raccoon tracks down there, but they're just going to start using this canal bed as a highway. It's going to be a lot harder, a lot harder to narrow them down. And with all this, like I said, with all the the, these little pools and stuff having fish and crawdads and things like that trying to find them on a bait sense is going to be hard as well so um we are going to kind of drop off on the coyote stuff um like i said when water season opens i'm pulling all my sets anyways so hopefully we can catch a couple more but uh if i don't well eh, no big deal so Thanks for watching, guys.